I don't know how. I don't know how you. It could be like maybe a hello, uh, you know, uh, whatever, maybe. Um, but it's not enough. It is the loneliest thing in the world not having a family around who check in on you. But it's the loneliest knowing that nobody's going to call in on you. You don't get a random text saying, hi, how was your day? Do you ever think about living in Los Angeles? Think again. This is the most lonely place ever. And they make you pay your arm. Waking up in the morning is starting to feel like, like a curse rather than a blessing. And every day is getting harder and harder. I don't even feel like a human being anymore because I don't have any connection. I don't, I don't get hugs. I don't know. I feel like if I were to get the kind of hug that I really want, I would crumble into pieces. I, I don't, how do you deal with that? I really like like need to be like touched and I know someone's gonna say like okay go to the salon and get your hair done or get a massage or or get your nails done right so someone can hold your hand none of those people love me none of those people none of those services love me right but I am really I'm really struggling I'm really struggling with like I don't I don't get hugs. That is <laughs> it could be like maybe a hello uh, you know uh, whatever maybe um but it's not enough. I don't know how I don't know how you How am I going to go the rest of my life like this? I, I think that that's really hard. I don't, there's no, I really, I'm just really struggling. I'm really struggling. Like I spent like last night just going like this. Yeah, I'm just, if anyone else is struggling, what are you, what are you doing? Feminism has made women believe that they don't need a man to survive. Whoa, touch starvation. That's a new term for me. I never knew that there was a term called touch starvation, but I guess it means not getting hurt, like the lady said. Maybe the term touch starvation should be replaced by not getting the hurt that I really want, which simply means not getting hurt by someone that she likes or that she wants. Because there will always be someone to hurt a woman. There are plenty of guys who would love to hurt her. Maybe she should really say, and I'm quoting her, I don't get hurt by the people I would like them to hurt me. She even acknowledged it in the video. Watch this one more time. If I were to get the kind of hug that I really want, I would crumble into pieces. If I would get the kind of hug that I effing really want, I would crumble into pieces. She said it. Now, the question to ask is the following. As a woman, would you get the hug just from anybody? I think the answer is no. I don't want to minimize what she might be going through. But damn, it is not that hard to get a hug if you are a woman. Welcome back to part two of living alone as a woman is absolutely terrifying. So let me walk you through the situation. I'm walking out to my kitchen to put a mug in the sink, right? My curtains are closed and there is my, my back door that goes onto a balcony. Now this balcony ends right there because I want a corner unit. So tell me why I walk down the hall and come face to face with a man looking in my window, looking into my apartment. 
When I tell you my my heart stopped, I I didn't even know what to do. I just stood there. And he looked at me and then he turned around and left. And I don't know where he is. Like I was trying to peek out my window and I think he's like still around the building. Like I saw him walking, but I just know that he knows I'm here alone because from that spot, you can see literally my entire apartment, um, except for my bedroom and my bathroom. So I'm pretty sure he knows I'm here alone and like my doors are locked, but like he didn't threaten me. So I can't call the police or anything. But like, why are you looking in my window? Like clearly, clearly you're looking for something. I don't know, I'm, I'm just really scared right now and my doors are locked, but like someone could break them. Like I literally posted a video a few weeks ago of someone breaking my door down. So like, what if that happens again? Yeah, I think my only choice right now is to go in my room, turn all the lights off in my house, and hope that they don't come back. It's even scarier to be lonely when you are a woman. It's absolutely terrifying. Think about it for a second, right? It's more than just being lonely. It's a safety issue. It can be dangerous for a woman to be alone because she's an easy target for all kinds of bad things coming from criminals. But let's be honest here. All this loneliness is a result of feminism. Yes, there are some women out there who don't need a man for anything. They can change their own tires, mow their own lawn, pay their own bills, pay their own mortgages, or pay their own vacations. We get that. Because feminism has made women believe that they don't need a man to survive. I don't think people who have parents realize how lonely it is just living. It is the loneliest thing in the world not having a family around who check in on you. I haven't had a happy birthday text ever. I've never even been sent a card by my family. I'm estranged because my parents were physically and mentally abusive and verbally abusive. I literally cannot be in contact with my parents or any of my family really. And it's lonely. I have to get up tomorrow and go to work. And then I come home and I'm on my own, my housemates away. But it's the loneliest knowing that nobody's going to call in on you. You don't get a random text saying, hey, how was your day? You don't get letters in the post saying happy birthday. When your tax bill is too high, which mine is, and I'm having to struggle to try and pay it, there's no one to call to cry about it. There's no one to reassure you that it's going to be okay. There's no one stood in your corner but you. Do people with parents realise how lost they would be without their parents? That when I have a health scare... I can't talk to my family about it and find out if it's a genetic thing because they're not around. That when I found a lump in my breast, I couldn't tell anyone about it because there's no one to tell. That when something really good happens in my life, there's no one to call because there's no one to tell. Having no family is really devastating. But hey, we're going to get up tomorrow. We're going to eat our breakfast. We're going to make ourselves look good. And we're just going to connect with as many people as we can because we know there's no one to connect with at home and if you're in the same boat as me please know you're not alone i don't have anyone but i am completely alone if i were to get very ill or extremely injured or anything like that i have no one i am completely alone waking up in the morning is starting to feel like like a curse rather than a blessing and every day is getting harder and harder and it is it is so hard because if i want to if i just want to be hugged if i just want someone to hug me i don't have someone to hug me a hug i don't even have that i don't even feel like a human being anymore because i don't have any connection i want family i want love I want safety and I don't have any of that I don't know I feel like I'm just getting dangerously close to not really seeing the point here anymore I don't think people were meant to go through life completely alone she said that she wishes that she had someone who could just hold her right now wow there are a lot of lonely women out there in my opinion 
This is the most painful kind of loneliness. It is when even your own family completely ignores you. Like it's when not even your own mom or your dad checked in on you or called you to wish you a happy birthday. That's a hard pill to swallow. Wow. I wish I could know why she doesn't talk to her family anymore. Because she doesn't even tell her family when she has a health issue. Or when something good happens to her. Like a celebration or a birthday. It's really sad. So now I'm wondering, right? With all these technologies, such as cell phones, laptop, computers, tablet, with that technology, we can connect with people all over the world. So how come we feel even lonelier than ever? But let's be honest here. There is a high percentage of women who need a man to survive, whether they like it or not, or whether they will admit it or not. Take for instance, the lady from the video that we just watched. That stranger looking into her apartment would have never done it if he knew that she was living with someone, especially if that someone was a man. It's that simple. Think about it.